Okay, so let's solve this topic. So solving exponential inequalities. So we have this given exponential inequalities. So first, we need to rewrite this given with the same basis. Since the given basis are 16 and 4, so from 16 and 4, so we need to find the common base. Since we can rewrite this 16 as 4 to the power 2, so therefore, the common base is 4. So we can rewrite now this 16 as 4 to the power 2, then times the given exponent, so times 2x minus 3. Then greater than, so just bring down this 4 to the power x plus 2. So since the equation now has the same base, so we can equate now these two exponents. So we have 2 times 2x minus 3, then greater than x plus 2. Then simplify to solve for x, so distribute 2 times 2x, this one is 4x, and 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. Then greater than x plus 2. Then to solve for x, so transpose this positive x to the left side, so this becomes 4x minus x. Then greater than positive 2. Then transpose this negative 6 so that becomes positive 6. Then this 4x minus x or 4 minus 1. That's 3x then greater than 2 plus 6 that's 8. Then to solve for x divide both sides by positive 3. So therefore x is greater than 8 over 3. So to find now the solution set, so for x greater than 8 over 3, so if this one is 8 over 3, this is positive infinity and negative infinity. Since greater than 8 over 3, so therefore, all numbers on the right of this 8 over 3 are greater than 8 over 3. So in interval notation, we have 8 over 3 to positive infinity. So this is now the solution set. Then for this problem, so again, we need to rewrite this equation with the same basis. So the given basis are 4 and 32. So from 4 and 32, since we can rewrite this 4, as 2 to the power 2 and this 32 as 2 to the power 5 so therefore the common base is 2 so this 4 is equal to 2 to the power 2 then times the given exponent so that's 2x plus 7 then less than or equal to so this 32 that's 2 to the power 5 then times the given exponent, so times 2x minus 2. Since the bases now are equal, so we can equate now these two exponents. So we have 2 times 2x plus 7, then less than or equal to 5 times 2x minus 2. Then simplify, so this 2 times 2x, that's 4x, and this 2 times 7, that's 14. Then less than or equal to 5 times 2x, this one is 10x, and 5 times negative 2, that's negative 10. Then to solve for x, so we need to transpose this positive 10x, so this becomes 4x minus 10x, then less than or equal to negative 10, then transpose this positive 14, so that becomes negative 14. Then simplify, so this 4x minus 10, so 4 minus 10, this one is negative 6x, 
then less than or equal to, so negative 10 and negative 14. Since the same negative, so just copy the sign and add these numbers. So 10 plus 14, that's 24. Then to solve for x, so divide both sides by negative 6. So therefore, x, now take note that when you divide both sides by negative, so this condition or this inequality will flip. So from less than, that becomes greater than, and from greater than, that becomes less than. So since we divide both sides by negative 6, so therefore, this inequality will flip. So this less than becomes greater than or equal to, so negative 24 divided by negative 6. So negative divided by negative, that's positive, and 24 divided by 6, that's 4. So x is greater than or equal to 4. Then to find the solution set, so this one is positive 4, positive infinity, and negative infinity. Since greater than, so therefore, all numbers to the right of this positive 4. But since we have this equal to, so therefore, this one is a closed interval. So for closed interval, we're going to use this bracket. So the solution set now, so we have this close interval, that's 4, then to positive infinity. So this is the solution set. Then for this given, so we need to rewrite this uh, exponential inequalities with the same basis. Since the given basis are 3 and 27, so 3 and 27, so since we can rewrite this 27 as 3 to the power 3, so therefore the common base is 3. So for this equation using the laws of exponent, so if we have x to the power negative n, so this one is equal to 1 over x to the power positive n. But if we have this 1 over x to the power negative n, so this becomes x to the power n. So therefore, we can rewrite this one as 3 to the power x. So this negative exponent becomes positive. Then greater than, so this 27, that's 3 to the power 3, then times the given exponent. That's 2x plus 1. Since the same basis, so we can equate now these two exponents. So we have x, then greater than 3 times 2x plus 1. Then simplify, so we have x greater than. So distribute, so 3 times 2, this one is 6x. Then 3 times 1, that's positive 3. Then to solve for x, so transpose this positive 6x, so this becomes negative 6x, then greater than positive 3. Then simplify, so this x minus 6, or 1 minus 6, this one is negative 5x, then greater than 3. Then to solve for x, so divide both sides by negative 5, so therefore x since we divide both sides by negative 5, so therefore this condition or this inequality will flip. So from greater than, so this becomes less than the negative 3 over 5. So this is now the solution of this inequality. Then to find the interval notation, so we have this negative 3 over 5 negative infinity and positive infinity since less than so therefore all numbers on the left of this negative 3 over 5 so all numbers on the left of negative 3 over 5 so in interval notation from negative infinity 
to negative 3 over 5. So this one is the solution set.